Good evening, I'm Morris Jones. A blockbuster mayoral debate earlier tonight right here on News Channel 8. The top four polling candidates, Mayor Vincent Gray and council members Jack Evans, Muriel Bowser and Tommy Wells, were speaking candidly about the issues. And the biggest one involves ethics, plus the controversy surrounding Mayor Gray's 2010 run for office. Jenny Dorn is in our newsroom with all the fireworks. Jenny. Well, Morris, it was a spirited battle, a chance to let the candidates go head to head, and they didn't hold back. Mr. Gray, don't, don't, switch, you what, don't switch this said. to us. Muriel Bowser is not the subject of the U.S. Attorney. Well, you're the subject you of this are debate. the subject of the U.S. You, Attorney. You are part of this. Mayor Vincent Gray is getting grilled. The mayor is under this cloud. There's no question that Vince Gray was elected with a corrupt campaign. But Gray is firing back, saying he's the victim of a scandal steeped in lies. I have made it clear, Ruth, I didn't do anything. Just days ago, wealthy businessman Jeffrey Thompson pleaded guilty to conspiracy. Pay to play in the district. He admitted masterminding a shadow campaign for Gray's 2010 run for office. Federal prosecutors say Gray asked for Thompson's money and agreed to keep his support secret. Gray spent much of our News Channel 8 debate. I was not involved in it. Going on the defense. I knew nothing about the, uh, the illicit uh, activity that has now been alleged. Making his case, he's not a crook. I've had an unblemished record everywhere that I have been. I think the mayor has his right to, you know, get have his right to his day. His challengers, most not so sympathetic, are using the bombshell allegations in their favor, hoping for a boost in the polls. But judging by this debate, it looks like the fireworks will continue straight up to election day. You see what happens a lot that people who are supposed to be leaders are pointing their fingers at each other. That's not what the residents of the District of Columbia want. They want leadership. And each of the candidates say they're ready to leave. Now, other hot topics tonight were education, speed cameras, and controversy in the fire department. If you missed this evening's mayoral debate, you can catch a replay tonight at 11 and Friday afternoon at 1. We will also have the entire debate on our website, news8.net. Morris. All right, thank you, Jenny. Meantime, some of Mayor Gray's other challengers are using the fallout from the Jeffrey Thompson guilty plea to their advantage. Vincent Orange, Carlos Salen, Rita Joe Lewis, and Andy Shalal participated in a debate Wednesday on our News Talk program. The corruption scandal surrounding Mayor Gray's 2010 campaign was the hot topic. Vincent Orange says he expects the investigation to play out sooner rather than later. I believe that the mayor will make a decision and he will make a decision real soon because I believe that there are conversations now going on with the U.S. Attorney and Mr. Gray's legal team. That is the process. And Despite what it, the, the sort of full-throated pushback and rejection. Well, that's, that's, I mean, generally, if you look at all people that find themselves in that position, that's always their first reaction, why their attorneys are interacting with the U.S. Attorney's Office to uh, see is there an uh, opportunity for a, 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 an agreement. In case you missed it, you can watch Wednesday's full debate online at news8newstalk.com.